painting. Look at the comparison. The two paint is right here. Just look real closely. Mango, wake up. Hey, no. Oh, oh no. Do it. <laughs> look at the fish. Crystal clear water. Pool pond is officially finished, scaped, and has fish in it. If you haven't watched any of those videos, before you even continue watching this one, go check those out. 400% sure. They were killer videos for my channel though, so I'm sure a lot of you Kaferos have seen them. Go watch it if you haven't though. Today, or at least this afternoon, we got David over here. Hey bud. Ah. We are emptying out the turtle pool pond right here. I had a couple of the baby turtles in here. Well, I kept them in here because the temporary thing was for this. We have this one though, and then we have this little one. Blake gave us this little one today, and I mean, when I talk, it's tiny. Look at the comparison. I believe that's the biggest one you can get. This is the, maybe the smallest one you can get? I don't know, but it's small. It's very, very small. And we're gonna do the exact same thing we have here, over here. All the turtles are in here. Uh, you can see there's a the little painted right there. All the baby turtles were in here just for tonight. They were, I put them in literally last night, and this morning I'm gonna take them all back out and put them into here. It is time to recreate that, but in this version, mini. We are pumping, pumping water out. I'm, I'm not even trying to pump it onto my patio, so I'm just gonna pump it back into here where there's no fish to then pump back out into my yard. Um, but yeah, I just didn't want to pump it here. And that's as long as the hose was, so that's what we're doing. She's going. Cavera, this is uh, almost officially over. We need to plumb our heating, finish the house, because Hector's coming, we're gonna finish up that house over there. We're gonna literally make this filtration house completely covered, closed in. We're gonna make that thing look like very, very, very good and repaint it the color of my house, similar to ones over there, I mentioned that before. We still gotta feed everything too as well before we even get to this. But look, oh my gosh, I was looking for my pool net. It was sunk to the bottom because I kept it right here. I must have fell and then that makes a lot more sense. I was looking for that. I needed you earlier. I need to take like the extra pellets the fish don't eat that still float. Easy to scoop them up with a pool net, flick them into the grass, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't have that, so I had to get them with my hand. What's going on, everyone? Look at the fish. Molly's! They're still alive! To those of you who said they were all gonna die, they probably all will eventually, but hey. Everything's gotta eat, right, Oscar? Yes, sir. Got the aerator right there. We uh, have the pump right there, and by the way, we have one of the biggest, most waited on videos ever to come on this channel happening tomorrow. I mean, I'm filming it tomorrow. It's gonna be live after this video. Gosh, dude, he is pissed off. How, oh, dude, oh my God. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss it. Um, we're getting like a 10, 15 pound bass for this pond. I'm not kidding, Thump 3.0 is coming in hot. Like I'm talking hot and you're not gonna believe where I'm getting it from. So if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. That video is next, so subscribe. Notifications select all so you don't miss it. This pond is officially done, I know. Ah! I ordered a net. Um, I have to go pick that up tonight actually. I got it. Thanks John. It's closed but I still got it. We're gonna have little things that come up off this right here that I can hook the net onto. That way nothing we ever get, arowanas, yada yada yada, can never get eaten. Not only eaten, but never could jump out as well. And that big bass, bass love to jump. I've lost bass in the past from jumping out. Way in the beginning of my channel, the first bass I ever had. We're gonna have a net over this that will allow nothing to get out. Look how clear the water is. See what I'm talking about? It only gets clear every single day. The filtration is, is bad ass, you know what I'm saying? Flow over here is incredible too, if you just look real closely. Look at that flow. Looks so good. Anyway, regardless, pond is done. Today, we are gonna make a mini turtle tub. The same exact thing as the big one, but a mini one, and put all our smaller turtles into it. We're gonna put a heater in it as well. I have a heater in my garage, that way the water can't get too cold. A smaller body of water can get a lot colder than a bigger body of water. Yeah. I didn't know if you knew that, most likely you knew that. Yeah, that, yeah. First things first, I guess we will grab all of the turtles. The two paint is right here. Just look real closely, because they're tiny. Oh, look how tiny that guy is. A baby painted and a yellow belly. Bunch of yellow bellies, I know that for a fact. And they got they were all that big when I bought them. Now look how big they are. Here's another, running, making a run for it. Oh, there's another, over there. Now I hope none went up in there last night because they're gonna be hard to find. Uh, there's three baby snapping turtles in here as well. Here you go, that one. Oh, another one, these two. Here's a piece of wood, this is their piece of wood. We're gonna keep this for them. We are in trouble with these baby snapping turtles. We might have to just wait until tomorrow. We don't have a lot of daytime. We got to get this done. They're going to be all, all up in here, bro. There's no way we're going to find them. 
Got one, look, look, see what I'm saying? Look, that thing was buried. Because when it's cold out like this, or chilly at least, they're gonna hide themselves, so. Yeah, we got one, I mean. There you go. Now, we're in big trouble, because unless the other ones are in here, we're gonna have to go digging around this whole entire thing. I don't even know, and I don't have time to waste right now, so we'll find them a different time. We got all the turtles right here. It's time to scape our mini turtle pool pond. Oh, uh, before we scape, though, we gotta feed the animals. Gary! I will. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. He's been telling me to do the 24-hour challenge, along with some of you guys in the comments down below. I gotta still do it. I know, 24 hours on that dock right there. I made a promise. I'm gonna do it. By the way, look. Our two ducklings have been out here for a day and a half now. They're right there. They're a little distant from the whole flock, but they, they, they will. They will get used to us and the other ducks eating and they'll get the rhythm and they'll start coming up here and eating with the others. It's just right now, I just put them in. Like, I'm talking not even 48 hours ago, so they're still getting used to it. I also put this little orange house. It was one of the tortoise houses until we got rid of the tortoises because I wasn't the biggest fan, I'll be honest. I didn't like tortoises. They were just kind of boring. But yeah, this house right here was one of theirs and the pigs use it now. So I put it in here and they, they use it. Regardless, this morning we loaded up on all these, so check it out. Full. Pull, pull, and uh, the animals are waiting for me. Hey, Bubba. What's up, buddy? What's up, you little dirty snout? A little dirty snout. <laughs> you guys, unfortunately, I fed you a lot, and look how big y'all are. Plenty of food this morning, way more than normal, so I'm not feeding you guys again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The goats will eat again, so will our pigs. Not much though, because I did feed them a lot too this morning. Alrighty boys and girls, here we go. Whoop. There you go everyone, eat up. All right, hey turkey. So a while back, Paul Thigpen and I did a giveaway and David over there was the winner. And he's back at my house now. We stayed in touch ever since and came to visit. So what do you think about the farm? It's amazing. Like in person, it's it's way cooler in person. So, well, you can't really come check it out. Maybe but one day. All right, goats, you crazy, crazy little things. Meow. Boots, what are you doing? Come here, Boots. He gets all geeked up. What's up, buddy? What's up, Oscar King, Emmy? Got Mama Goat. Hi, hi, buddy. Hi. All right, I gotta make it out to that bowl. You guys keep making it further and further. It's like a challenge every day for me to get out there. Here we go. Ooh, that was pretty good. That was good. That was very good. All right, enjoy. I got him a Christmas tree right over here. They've done some damage to it. I got another one waiting for him. I actually, if you want my honest opinion, I collected 33 of them from the neighborhood around me. My boys Chad and Devin, yeah, we collected 33 Christmas trees in one night. Pretty epic on my Snapchat story if you haven't watched that. You're missing out. Follow me on Snapchat, Juno Paul. You'll see a lot of things before it even happens on the YouTube. And Steffi, I believe her name was, told me that Christmas trees were a natural uh, dewormer for goats. So thanks, Steffi. We got to feed big old piggies. What up, pigs? Mango! Mango! Wake up! Hey! Watch this, ready? <laughs> got a knock on the door like a human. I know, it's it's morning. Well, no, it's afternoon, actually. It's the afternoon, and it's time to eat dinner. So, are you ready? I still am concerned how the heck you even see, my guy. But he's still got, like, uh, you know the creases human gets on the side of their cheek when they wake up? That's, like, what he's got, but with shavings. Lady May, over here, come on. She knows. She picks on him when he eats, so I gotta make sure. Your bolt there. His bolt there. Good to go. Alright, let's get it. I gave him a thing of TNA and, and look what they did. It's a perfectly, I don't have food. Um, yeah, they created a massive bed out of it. They look like they're still working on it, so I'm not gonna bug them too much, but there's just a mound of TNA. Perfectly green, healthy looking TNA. This is what I gave them a couple days ago. They made a bed out of that and you can see the little, look at the little pig crease from sleeping in it. They all sleep in that. Kevin, what up Kev? What are you doing over here, dude? Didn't I just feed you in your squat over there? Lock up, lock up. Now we gotta do the hogs and then the cows. And then we're officially done feeding the farm. Hi everyone. I was waiting for your oinks. Here you go. Oh, you guys got a little corn mixture, huh? Who did that? Dad? Here you go, buds. Listen to them chew. 
Hey, be nice. Oh, you're really getting up to the mic, huh? Now these cows, man, moo! I got them their own grain that was uh, suggested to me. And I also, I was suggested to feed them alfalfa hay. Uh, it's better for like malnourished calves. Cause these cows are like skinny. Like even when I got them, I mentioned holy skinny. Like these things are skinny. They were uh, meant to be like meat cows though. So I think whoever had them prior probably wasn't too much, you know. Guys, this pond is another project that we got to work on. Uh, this is going to be filled up. Another two feet, dock's gonna be built right here. Water's gonna be getting pumped in. Cool waterfall, I believe, is what I wanna do. And then a pipe going out. I just talked to Bradley, who did pretty much all the grass and, and flattening dirt and stuff like that. And he said he can uh, work on that for us. Sometime at the end of this week. Now, we also have buckets everywhere because the ones I fill up with water, this was completely to the brim, filled with water. The big bull cow flings it across the enclosure and just throws it around like a toy. Now honestly, I don't even think we're gonna touch up that barn. I would, but they don't even use it. Oh, let's be honest, like, if it drizzles a little bit, there's plenty of coverage and they go under it. Come here, bud. This guy is all fired up, if you know what I mean. Fired up. He needs to get his, you know, <laughs> taken off. Hey, I'm gonna take your balls off in just a little bit. I just wanna let you know, I've contacted a vet. Don't jump on me. Hey, no. Hey, Mr. Itch your horns on me. I'm not playing that game again. Last time you jumped on me, roll the clip. Oh. Ah! Ow, dude. Hey, no. Oh, oh, no. Do it. <laughs> you never seen me jump a fence faster in my life. Dude, David, I'm sorry I left you, my guy. Dude, I was gone, dude. dude I was I'm so. Look at him, look at him. He's all fired up, dude. Look at him, look at him, look at him. He wants to play, dude. No, for real, though, this, uh, this cow is very nice. He's just, he gets like, you know, happy. He wants to jump on me so bad. Ooh. Go through these comments. There's 7,000 comments, so this is gonna be fun. Put chickens in there to help clear out cow patties. You know, I'll put chickens in here, but unfortunately in about three days, they would be all be eaten by coyotes and bobcats and raccoons. So that's not happening. Big cow chocolate, little cow Swiss. Imagine someone meeting Paul for the first time and asking him whether or not he had a pet. Paul, you have no idea. <laughs> Paul almost looks scared of the big one. I am scared of the big one. Look at the thing, it almost attacked me. We're gonna castrate this sucker though in a little bit and he'll be a totally different animal. Right now he's crazy. I'm going with the comment I saw and I don't know where it is, but I can't find it. Someone said Bob's and burgers. Which one should be Bob and which one should be burger? So Bob, hey Bob! He moved back. It's meant to be. Bob is right over there, the big bowl is Bob. And that's burger. Is that kind of messed up that I named it burger? No, not at all. Come on, it's no. it's not that serious. Look, he's running around, he's running around, he's holy. That's the ones you get on top of and you're like, burger! She looked! Dude, it's just meant to be. Bob Burgers. Love it. Ooh, what a hello there. <laughs> you're so cute, bro. Now we're gonna use gravel to fill the back of this because water, if it rains, could still go through the gravel and out to our drainage, which will be down here eventually. I, I haven't drilled it yet. Now we're gonna drill it. We got a drill bit. Now I was gonna do a plant up there for some coverage, but I don't think it would live due to the fact that unlike this one, this enclosure has soil beneath it with rock under the soil. We didn't have any soil, so yeah, we couldn't do that. Cypress mulch is the best mulch, just because it doesn't have any dye or anything like that inside of it that will harm the turtles in any way. Got them about five inches of depth they could dig down, and they'll even go into the rock as well. Thanks, David, for filming, by the way. Yes, sir. Um, let's fill her up. I haven't had the camera out at night yet, so I finally get to show you what it looks like at night, the pond. Look at this. Insane. Got all the lights on it. One's actually going onto the turtle pond, which I'm filling up with more water right now. It's nice and warm. Although it's dirty, gotta set up a filtration on that pond still. All the fish are doing good, more to come. We're gonna actually get some more fish here soon. Definitely, very, very soon. But yeah, I just wanted to show this before I shut off the camera and show you what uh, that dark box for right now, what it looks like at least tomorrow. It is the next morning. We've got some work going on with uh, all that housing over there. That's for an upcoming video. You'll see that and that's why the pipe's out right now. Anyway, over here is our turtle tub. We did this yesterday and I just want to elaborate on it a little bit. As you can see, I don't have a heater in it now because it's really not that cold. 
The other two snapping turtles I have yet to find, it is the next following morning. So, you know, maybe I'll find them today or if not later on. I hope those other snapping turtles didn't get a hold of them, but I think they would have gotten to Mr. Sleepyhead over here, the guy that's always sleeping this tiny one. They were only in there for a couple hours, so I highly doubt that anyway, regardless. Never cry, but I, I, I cried. We lost our tailless tilapia. I know. I know. It wasn't my fault. The turtles actually ate him. When I had him in that temporary small tub, the turtles ate him. If you remember, we cast that tilapia out of the pond to feed our fish all the time, and I caught him with no tail, and I actually grew it from like this big all the way to that big, and when it got like that big, I guess it uh, got eaten by my turtle. I think it was these guys for sure. Y'all had a feast on him, didn't ya? Painted turtles. Anyway, I just fed them, so as you can see, a couple pellets are sinking and floating. A little floating thing. I didn't even use like the suction cups to make it stick to the side. We're gonna do some plants in it eventually, most likely off camera, and they'll just be in it eventually. I have a PVC running along the backside now and going into our old PVC that runs to this pond over here. Look how stoked all the birds are. See them all spread out and they're all diving and swimming. And look at Gary bathing. Kevin's over there bathing. They're like they're just dis. Look, look how much fun they're having. And that's because I've had water flowing into this pond for the last day now. Look at Willow. Hey Willow, what are you doing in the house? Yes, yeah, so this pipe is finally pumping fresh water. You can see the water is probably much warmer for them and it's fresh. It's turning actually much clearer already. They love when the fresh water is pouring in. I actually had some pouring in from over there after I filled the mud pit too much over here for the pigs. So they've been swimming in that, having fun, and they're all just literally, look at them. Look how happy the ducks look. <laughs> Gary's over here bathing away. They're all bathing at this point. I will let you know one thing. Next video is probably the best video I've ever made on YouTube. It is absolutely insane, action packed, and we have a new fish inside this pond right now. Let's just put it that way. Roll the clip, quick one. A little bit? I need a temp, oh that's, it. God, that's, that's it, that's it, that's, that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't show any more than that. It's just incredible. The experience was awesome, and you're gonna absolutely love that video. So make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, select all so you're notified on everything I do on YouTube, and follow my other social medias Snapchat, Instagram, all that stuff is down below. Go follow all of them. And last but not least, if you want to further support the channel, PaulCafferellBrand.com is where the merch is at. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I was all over the place, kind of like a little update video in a way. Tomorrow, uh, once again, an absolute new mini turtle tub right there. Looks good. Super simple, but it looks good. Love y'all. See you in the next one. Peace out. How are you this fine evening, Taylor? I'm doing fine. Paul, how about you? I'm doing great. It's my girlfriend. But I have an idea.